Hello again and welcome to another edition of the Real Ale Guide. Today's beer is from Britain's oldest brewer, Shepherd Neen. It's the early bird. There you go. The bottle. There's the top. Now yeah, as I said, they first started making beers in 1698, um, Shepherd Neen. Um, it's the oldest brewer in Britain. Plenty of character with their beers, plenty of taste, and there's so much craft that goes into making each beer. This beer is only available, this early bird, between March and April. It's only produced in March, March and April. It's an early spring ale. It says in the front, it's a spring hop ale. Just to celebrate the fact that spring's here and everybody's out and, you know, everyone's going to enjoy a beer. Um, it's a gold nail. To see, I go with that. Grapefruit, citrus, and hoppy, and the taste is fruit, refreshing, and zesty. The zestiness comes from the hops. Okay, um, it's got a nice piece on the back. Britain's oldest brewer. Let's get it open. Quite a quiet pint. It's quite. Let's give it a pour. Nice light, light beer. Not much of a head to it. It smells. Oh, it smells beautiful. It does smell. Fruity. You can definitely smell that um, the grapefruit taste they said on there. Lovely, lovely. Okay, let's give it a taste. Mm. Definitely fruity. Lovely, it's definitely fruity with a sort of a nice hoppy kick at the, towards the end. But you got the fruit first, the smell and the taste straight away, and then straight away after that you got your nice um, hoppy bitter aftertaste. Lovely. Mm. Okay, as I said, it's four point five percent in the volume. It's only available between March and April. Um, they do a number of bits and pieces in their shop. They've got an online shop or you can telephone to telephone order. they got a number of bits and pieces, early bird, or should I say Shepherd Neen. Um, their beers, which they're absolutely fantastic. I've done a few. I'll go through the beers and I'll tell you which ones I've done. So you can have a look at my review on it if you like. But they, they do a range of beers including Canter Canterbury Jack, Spitfire Premium Kentish Ale, which we've done. Check that out on the uh, Real Ale Guide. Nice beer. Bishop's Finger Kentish Strong Ale. Another review we've done on that. It's a very, very good beer. Um, Master Brew Bitter, which I haven't tried. Kent's Best and Late Red. Now, Late Red, I've looked on the internet and... They've got the early bird, which is their spring seasonal beer. Now, late red is their autumn beer, as it's the late red of the leaves changing colour. So they've called it late red, but in the autumn, I'll be looking forward to do a review on that. Um, should be very, very interesting and knowing Shepherd's name, very tasty. Okay. Very, it is a... A very spring-like pint. I can imagine easily you being able to drink if you if you're a, if you're a hard drinker. Should say, so I shouldn't say a hard drinker, but if you're used to drinking these ales, I, I could say you could drink five or six of these quite easily. It's a quite nice, mellow, um, laid-back beer. Um, some of the reviews I've done on some of the 
um, stronger ales. You could only have a few of these, but I could I quite easily drink five or six of these. Having a meal outside in the garden, whatever, yeah. Quite quite a mellow beer. That's the word. That is definitely the word for, the, word for this. Is a mellow beer. Oh. I'm going to review this now. I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 for the early bird from Shepherd Knee. Not a bad drink. Now, if you would like to get in contact with Shepherd Knee, like I said, they've got all sorts. Also, um, I told you about their bitters. Um, they do a host of lagers. One of them is very surprising, which I'm probably going to order straight away. Um, they do wholesome pills, Orangi Boom, Kingfisher, actually an Indian ale, which is quite nice, Hurleyman's, and listen to this, because you don't get this in Britain, they're, they're mainly in America, Samuel Adams Boston Lager. Now, I really fancy that because Samuel Adams is very, very big in America. They do a host of ales. You've got Samuel Adams Double Chocolate Buck, which search for, can't find it in the UK. But if they produce the Samuel Adams Boston Lager, which they say they do on the internet, then I'll be definitely doing a review of that in the future. Um, they also do bits and pieces like they got a Shepherd Neen model van. And listen to this, they do a beer soap. Beer foam to wash down with and beer shampoo. Very, very interesting. I think that's all your um, bishop's finger. That's that's what they based it all on. Um, silk ties, hampers, and they've got bottle top cufflinks to go on your shirt in the shape of a bottle top. Really, really interesting. Get in touch with them. Have a look at the internet site. It's www.shepherd-neen.co.uk or they've got a telephone number which is 01795 542016. Check the website, give them a ring, they do brewery tours. Um, very, very interesting company. It would be because it's so old, it's got a lot of craft, a lot of tradition in their beer making. So give them a ring, order some of their bits and pieces, it's well worth a look at. Um, that's about it for the Real Ale Guide um, for this. For this beer, the early bird, I give it a late out of 10. I'm posting more and more videos on the internet every single week. But thanks for watching um, this particular review. Catch me again in the future. See you.